This multiple choice problem is asking us to determine which of the given four choices is equivalent to the given expression 5 times the quantity of 3x plus 6y. Well, one thing we could do is just write five sets of 3x plus 6y. But trying to figure out what the equivalent expression is this way would take a bit long. But let's do that anyway just to see what we would come up with. So we're going to write 3x plus 6y a total of five times. And then we can just look straight down the columns and add those terms together. So if we add 3x plus 3x, that's 6x, 9x, 12x, and 15x. Plus we have 6y plus 6 more y, which is 12y, 18y, 24y, and 30y. And we can see that choice B is equivalent to the expression 5 sets of 3x plus 6y. But there is a shorter way than having to write that expression over and over 5 times. You can use the distributive property to multiply this number on the outside by each term on the inside of parentheses. So 5 times 3x is simply 15x and 5 times 6y is 30y. Now to verify that choice B is indeed our answer, what we can do with any expression is we can let x equal any number that we wish and we can let y equal any number that we wish. And we're going to plug in the same number for this x that we do into our original expression and whatever number we choose for y, we are going to do the same for this y up here. So what I'm going to do is write our original expression. And for x, I am going to let that equal 1. And for y, I'm just going to let that equal 2. Because this expression is not equal to anything, we can pick whatever number we want to for each of our variables. So if we solve it by plugging 1 in for x and 2 in for y, we would see that 3 times 1 is 3 and 6 times 2 is 12. And we have to add that together and multiply that sum by 5. So when we add 3 and 12 together, that is 15. And 5 times 15 is equivalent to 75. Now, if I do the same thing with choice B, we should come up with the same answer. So once again, I'm going to plug 1 in for the letter x. So 15 times 1 plus 30 times 2. So 15 times 1 is 15. And we have to add that to the product of 30 and 2, which is 60. And 15 plus 60 is equal to 75. So we can see we came up with the same answer for the given expression and the choice that we selected, which is choice B.